protect to some cruise missile defense, but there is no cruise missile defense at this point. So if there's any T2 engineering tech or an ACU, that'd be a very good strat. I uh, see some really nice T2 flag here just decimating air. So pretty good air defense here. So it'll probably take some nice navy. See some uh, nice amphibious uh, arty attack on the Steyr's navy, which is really good. Plus a nice, uh, oh, we got both drops from Mega and T2 bombers from Powered House. Of course, they're going to run into this cloud of T3 air and just get decimated. Uh, it's Mega still sneaking in. There should be radar here. They should be able to see it. See if this drop does much. So pretty nice amphibious assault here, but it'll get pushed back. It killed quite a bit of factories and NG, so it was it was successful. An interesting drop here underneath. They're gonna he's gonna build a factory. That most likely will get killed soon. But an interesting play. It's nice at this choke point. We got uh, Dim's navy, so it'll basically cut these two bases in half. So no more support from down here. There's plenty of factories in production here. This choke point is not crucial at this point. See a nice battle between T2 and T1 armies and T2 is definitely going to win this one. See a whole bunch of kills and we've got some veterans here. So any time unit, uh, depending on what level it is, gets more health and regenerates itself. Some of these are 3 star, 2 star veterans. So still a comeback should be happening, but it's a little slow of a comeback. Still there's so much T1 production, just a massive units. Just cannot handle it. Still no cruise missiles, very surprising. Should be cruise missiles coming from here. Star is going to upgrade his ACU. Interesting. Yeah, he's getting a uh, RAS, a very expensive upgrade. Probably not the best thing getting at this point. Maybe want to just build a navy instead of worrying about economy, but such is his plan at this point. And we see Sith still beating back any kind of uh, assault with her T2. Oh, we got a 47 kill uh, T2 bot from her, so a really successful navy. Oh, sorry, the ground force. And we're going to see our first ASF battle here. It's going to be Tinoch versus Sith. Tinoch had looks like slightly less ASF to begin with, but his micro seems to be better. Also, there is a lot of T2 flak that Sith is flying over, which is killing all these planes. We can see it from the bottom like this. See this battle. And it's very surprising. It looks like Red won, so Tinoch won. So that's a very bad uh, sign for uh, Sith, Dim, and Steyr, because now they don't have air control anymore, and they've pretty much lost all their uh, advantage which if any advantage they had at all all they have is navy now they have kind of a stalemate here in terms of ground and a very nice uh, T2 bomber force which is just decimating the economy for Sith this is gonna probably be game over at this point so very nice move first Tinoch takes over air which is very surprising and Power Taros is ready to pounce with his bombers and just gonna destroy all the economy. So very aggressive from this bottom team here. First they kill their middle player gang up. Seems like they should be uh beaten back by the superior technology, but looks like just the micro from Tinoc won this one, as well as all these units uh, on the ground which were shooting up at the planes. Of course great play from Power Taros. I mean, within about 30 seconds of winning this air battle, he just completely took out all the mass production from Sith with his T2 bombers. It's a great communication and play. And now Dim's base is going to get uh, bombed. So really not much uh, they can do at this point. Well, very aggressive and very well played. Dim has stopped his naval production but uh, not much he can do. I mean, shields and uh, which he's got some and flak is all he can possibly make. Steyr has basically been absent from this game. He's defended and upgraded his mexes. Let's see. He's got a huge economy, but nothing that shoots. Which is fun. 
I mean, it was very close. If Sith hadn't lost there, it most likely would have been a comeback from uh, Star's Navy. Of course, you can't always rely on your allies. You gotta make action yourself. The pirate house is making more bombers here. Dim is trying to attack, and he's actually done quite well. He killed quite a few of this base, but it's not gonna make a huge difference. Still, absolutely no navy from the bottom team. Very strange for a set in the game. Usually, navies dominate. Oh, and I completely missed. There was a chicken built or Seraphim Experimental here by Swiss Cow and has uh, walked in on Dim's base. It's kind of an overkill uh, if you think about it. I mean, the bombers already took out most of the base, but now there's really no uh, looking back at this point. It's funny they're leaving style alone to just tech. So this is basically the end game. Still these bots are fighting. They're not gonna die. They'll keep killing. They'll die when this chicken gets here. See what a nice uh, Forged Alliance battle looks like after. Oh, here we see a fat boy. I might not be done in time to deal with that chicken. Yeah, quite a few wrecks. So, see. Hey, another chicken almost done. So, it looks like, oh, yeah, another case of great teamwork. With three different players making the chicken. That's why they're making him so fast. So, really great teamwork that won this game. And yeah, to contrast here, they basically left their middle player alone, and Steyr didn't really help. And a few things went wrong, and now they're losing, and most likely going to lose. Here we see the chicken coming in. See a nice force in the background. Yeah, so all these uh, heroic T2 units can't really save Sith at this point. And we should see this other chicken moving in. Fatboy probably won't even get finished and get some stealth. See this from the regular view. Oh, it's going to be a race to build this uh, chicken, but Sith might not be able to finish. And she will not. Well, let's see. Swiss sees and he has and now it's just going to be devastation chicken on chicken well this finally gets done but it's already damaged and now it will get killed and after a chicken dies it will kill everything around it oh there goes star looks like the other chicken got to him See, still nice T2 bombing harassment. Yep, it's chicken. So let's see. Where is Sith ACU? Uh, she's, she was hiding in the pond. And Dim is also hiding in a pond, waiting to be killed. Let me speed this up if I can. So a great fight where we saw teamwork beat uh, the other team. Uh, Sith says, can't believe we didn't see this coming. Yeah, really quite a few mistakes. They could have dealt with it. There goes her ACU. So a great piece of uh, Forged Alliance gameplay. Usually certain games aren't like this. They're usually a little slower. Well, it was very aggressive and well done by both teams.